Celebrities at movie premieres always get asked the same vapid showbiz questions. So I decided, why not ask them something different? Get ready to play softball hardball. Was there something unique about this role in, in, in terms of what this couple goes through? The way in which um, Kim has depicted this marriage in its fractious state, I think that the intertwining of all of those themes and, uh, and ideas was really difficult. There's a climate change conference coming up. Uh, what do you think that the leaders should talk about when it comes to helping the coral sorry, reef? Sorry, we got the next question. Oh, Australian okay. coral reef. Thank you. So it's just such an important question. Tell me about filming in the outback. But I, I love getting out into the into those space of Australia. What do you think about the free trade agreement, Trans-Pacific Partnership? Do you think it's going to help the middle class in Australia, or is it going to hurt it? I'm generally not that interested in free trade agreements. Free trade agreements generally hurt, generally uh, are good for the, the, the most powerful person in that agreement. They're not going to agree to it otherwise, so certain people are going to lose out and certain people are going to gain from it. Because as an Australian, what do you think that, that your country should do about the extermination and the extinction of coral reef? that is due to climate change. I don't know what the answer is, but I guess the first step is awareness and making people aware that there is a serious problem and that it's a whole it's the whole world's problem. It's one of the wonders of the world. And if we don't all do something to so, to save it, we're all gonna lose one of those wonders of the world. What are your thoughts on the on Europe and the US's counterterrorism strategy? Do you think militarism is the way to go? I think it's a lot about disenfranchised and dislocated young men and women who are slightly outside of the, uh, of the system in, in countries. And I think uh, there is a fanaticism which has kind of brainwashed those who um, are, are looking for, I, I don't know, a way back. Uh, they, I think a lot of people feel maybe bullied or something, but it, it's an extreme part of a beautiful religion. I think, you know, the strategy is, you know, is to, um, is to have dialogue. I think the dialogue is the strategy. Like, what are your thoughts on all Black Lives Matter and, all, and the movement going on? I'm just not the one to ask uh, a question like that. I don't really have any intelligence to say about that. You're of Nigerian descent. What yeah. do you think the line is between investment and exploitation when it comes to, let's say, oil exploration in Nigeria? Well, that's a massive question. I mean, and a question I can't possibly begin to answer right now. You know, but uh, but I would I would simply point you to the. Uh, the great work from, I mean, I suppose even like the late 70s, you know, uh, done by Ken Sarawiwa in Nigeria and, uh, and the ideas of uh, Shell Oil post-Civil War in Nigeria and so on. But it's honestly just too massive for this context. But maybe oh, I think you did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations.